Hi guys and welcome to another video. So in this video we're going to talk about the progress bar uh, object here. So let's get started by adding a progress bar, which is you guys should be familiar with. It's one of the most common objects uh, you guys usually see when installing a program, something like that. Okay, so this is actually a progress bar. So that means that you see a progress of something. It's a bar, we say progress, as the name suggests, but let's go ahead and add here. So I'm not sure if you can, let's see for highlight. Can we change the highlight? So we need to do some stuff here to let's run this. So I guess you can see we don't see anything happening here. Uh, we would actually need to do something here. Okay, so uh, let's let's double click this let's define some of the things so this good practice to call this progress bar dot maximum equals <laughs> equals 800 let's start by 800 we need to add a, a timer let's say the a timer which you can let's say timer timer let's say add a timer here uh, name interval 100 private enable true. Okay, let's double click the timer. Okay, um, the timer we're gonna do is this dot progress bar dot value equals um, how many values that the, the timer has? 100. Okay, um timer dot value yeah does it have plus plus equal one let's do this to see if we're gonna if you it to see if it's gonna work so let's run it's working so you guys can see that we are actually calling that timer which is happening each uh, we're gonna we got an exception of course let's uh, value 100 uh, is not valid value. Okay. Okay, so we need to work that because the timer should have a, let's say, interval um, 50. Let's run that to see what's going to happen. Now it should work without a problem. No, no, we still have a something to figure out. Um, value 102 is not valid for value, value should be between okay. Okay, if you, if you guys don't need to see this, I think if you comment this out, it would work just fine. I think probably, I'm not sure because I, I haven't done this in a while. Yeah, still, yeah, still, we, we need to sort this out, sort this out. So let's see. Let's put a uh, three hundred here. I'm not sure about what's happening here. Oh, I see that uh, the interval is is uh, three hundred milliseconds now. So it's gonna take a while, and it's going to definitely crash when it reaches that point of one hundred and one. So we need to get out, uh, get rid of that uh, soon. Um, let's see if that is the problem, which I think it does. It does have a problem right now, right? Yeah. Okay. So we should what we should do is basically put. Uh, let me see. 101 would be the, the trick. Let's see. Let me see. Let's put 20 milliseconds. So if we do this, okay, it's going fast and it reaches the point. Oh, I see. We still need to do the calculations though. Let's see what is the 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 the, the thing here. The point. I just need to do the calculations. So, means because I forgot. 
the thing here. Uh, time is 20 seconds. Uh, got the generated false, enable true. Uh, let's say if timer, if timer, we could do if, uh, we could do if here, we could do if, uh, progress bar, dot value, greater, greater or equal 100, actually greater than 100. We're gonna call it break here. Timer dot enable equals false. Just that. Okay. Let's run now to see if it's gonna work. Should work just fine. Nope. Still have to figure it out. Um yeah. Let's put in else here. Let's see. Should work though. Yeah, it worked. So you guys just need to add this uh, simple instance here. So uh, one of the things that I, I would like to see if it is possible to change the four color. Let's say I want a CN. Let's see if it's gonna work. Nope still green so if you guys know know uh, if you guys have any tips on how to change the color of the 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 progress bar itself you guys should comment down below okay guys so there you go guys uh thank you for watching this you see guys next time